I'm a library assistant in the art, music, and recreation department. Uh, I work the reference desk. I built this frame actually at, at that school when I was learning how to braze and TIG weld. We got a truing stand, we, we got um, bicycle pumps, we got inner tubes, we got housing, we got cables, we got grease, we got bearings, we got all that kind of stuff. So Bike Kitchen is essentially a community bicycle shop. It's where people can go get access to tools, get access to mechanics, get access to parts at little or no cost. I am stoked. So it's a Library Services and Technology Act grant. Uh, it's from the state of California. And Bob called me and was like, you know, we need, I have this grant that I got. And I was like, oh, congrats, good for you, dude. Um, and he was like, I need, I want classes here. And, and he's like, I know you teach. And, and, you know, would you like to make this kind of a nine week long program and, and, you know, disassemble and rebuild the bike and teach people kind of what you know. And, I couldn't pass up an opportunity like that. Within the region and then also through the state of California, and I haven't seen any other bike kitchens at public libraries. The first day of class, we're going to go over parts of the bicycle, so everything from the frame to brakes to how they work, what they're doing together, why we have them. You know, we want people to be able to work on everything from a 1960s Schwinn to, you know, your 2016 a uh, specialized carbon fiber road bike. It's a, it's a shop grade set of tools. It's the kind of stuff that you would find in any professional shop. So this is a nine speed shifter yeah. uh, on a 10 speed crank on a seven speed rear drive train. We always want this chain to go right back where we had it. So put it on that smallest cog. Some folks in this area are living pretty close to the edge and it's kind of difficult to make the choice of do I get my wheel fixed or do I buy dinner? And then when we go to take the wheel off, we know that right now, we know that we left it in that bottom cog so we can just guide it right back onto it and your wheel will sit exactly where it should. Hopefully with this bike kitchen, people won't have to make that decision as often.